So we got a brand new trailer for the new series of Doctor Who that came out on Friday and it gave us a lot of new footage, lots of new clips, lots of new information. Um, I did a trailer reaction video to it so you can go check that out if you want. But now I'm going to do a little bit of a, a more deeper breakdown of each shot and what we can see. So let's do that. We start off with Unit HQ, the TARDIS is coming in at speed, skidding along the helipad through the doors and stopping at the far end of the control room. Pretty cool shot really, isn't it? Uh, not much to say about that, I think this is probably from the final episode given various costume cue clues we get. Uh, we get a very energetic doctor coming out saying, Give me the love Got a black leather jacket and t-shirt on, again that suggests, that's what suggests this is the season finale. Then we get a shot of the TARDIS on a cliff top, maybe the same one that we see later, uh, so we'll get back to that in a little bit, I think. We get a few scenes that are from the previous episode, of The Church on Ruby Road, the Christmas special, including this club scene. Uh, we get the TARDIS arriving in Ruby's flat and making a bit of a mess, looks like destroys their ceiling again. Um, makes me think this was maybe a bit of an emergency landing, possibly. We get some audio over the top, which is Ruby's mum questioning him, uh, questioning her even about the doctor. Kind of typical worried parent of companion stuff that we got quite often in the first Russell T. Davis era too. More Church on Ruby Road stuff, her entering the TARDIS in all those clips. Then we get some quick clips, very snatches of little bits. We get the Doctor in 60s get up, TARDIS and Ruby are in the background. The Doctor looks shocked at something. Then we get this, this shot is like the most perplexing of the whole lot I think. The Doctor is dressing some kind of robes, some kind of tatty robes. Uh, looks like I mean, maybe he's dressing like a local on a planet. It's not the kind of high fashion type things that he's wearing in almost every other shot. It very much looks like it's part of local custom from somewhere. We get the Doctor in his Regency era get up on some kind of ship. So uh, maybe this is Jonathan Groff's character's ship. I speculated in my five predictions video that he was a time agent, perhaps even a face changed Jack Harkness. I've seen speculation he might be a younger Jack and that this part of his life is part of the lost two years that Jack had that the time agency took away from him. This does feel like a little bit like Jack's ship when we first met him um, in the Doctor Dancers, was it? Uh, uh, that, that, that two-parter, the, the empty child and the Doctor Dancers, kind of ramshackle with the hammock and stuff. While he's on that ship, David Tennant's face is floating as a hologram there. Uh, this is very much the 10th Doctor's face rather than the 14th Doctor's, specifically from the TV episode The Next Doctor, as somebody on Twitter pointed out. So I think this might be a thing where, just like one of those things where the previous faces are getting flashed up, like we got in the Journal of Impossible Things, where they were all scribbled in the book in Series 3, and the holograms of past Doctors at the beginning of Series 5. It's just a way to introduce the audience the concept of the Doctor having had past faces quite quickly. So I think that's probably what's going on there. This is probably them heading off on their first trip, because it's the same costumes they had at the end of Church on Ruby Road, but obviously in the TARDIS, the Mavity's going a bit screwy. Beautiful shot of cloudy vortex. I love the colours of this thing. Then we get some dinosaurs. Beautiful shots. You can really see the money from Disney going into this shot. It looks absolutely stunning. But Ruby steps on a butterfly and seemingly instantly changes hitch history, including her own history and then her whole species history because she's still there, but now some kind of evolved bipedal bug creature. Thing with antenna. Uh, that butterfly clearly made a big difference to human evolution. Whether or not this is going to be a big thing or a whole episode thing or just the opening which they solve really quickly, I don't know. I think it might might be that because the main thrust of this first episode is going to be the boogeyman thing. So this is probably a little thing which they solve quite quickly at the beginning. The 12th Doctor and Bill Potts had a conversation about the butterfly effect back when the Doctor was much more blasé about its possible effects and treated it mostly like a joke. If I step on a butterfly, it could send ripples through time that mean that I'm not even born in the first place and I could just disappear. Definitely. I mean, that's what happened to Pete. Pete? The friend, Pete. He's standing there a moment ago, but he stepped on a butterfly. Now you don't even remember him. 
You get the TARDIS flying in some kind of space station or spaceship. This could be the one from the first episode, possibly. Now, this looks like it could be some kind of post-apocalyptic type world, similar to what we see later, maybe. Almost looks like they're in some kind of resistance survival group in their khaki gear. Get another clip of the Regency era episode, bird-like aliens disguised as humans. Ruby seems to be a fan of being in this era and name checks the Netflix show Bridgerton. I don't know who this screaming woman is, but she seems to be scared of something. Then we get Jinx Monsoon's character who is wielding literal musical notes in the air as weapons. So I don't know, this could be mid-song possibly if it's a musical episode. This could be the post-apocalyptic era again and seems to be the Doctor standing on a landmine, which we think is the third episode which will be written by Stephen Moffat. If that is the Doctor on the landmine what we can see there, then somebody else is nearby, possibly part of a resistance group or some kind of locals of some kind. And Ruby has a giant gun and is firing it upwards, so I'm predicting she's kind of protecting the Doctor who is stuck on that landmine from some kind of advancing bad guys. Don't know how he's gonna feel about her having a gun and shooting. He's generally against guns, usually. Someone is trying to get out of Ringo's drum. Is it another worldly creature? Or has one of the Beatles just got trapped in there? Or maybe it's the Doctor. Things seem to be turning a bit more supernatural. General gist of this era, basically. After the Doctor let the toy maker in with the salt thing, we had then had the goblins, and we're just gonna be getting lots of supernatural stuff in this era. Not sure who this woman is. She kind of looks like she's in 60s type dress, so maybe this is from the 1960s episode. Could it be a young Mrs. Flood? The glass breaking looks to be in a music studio. You can see the faders and books and magazines relating to the music industry, EMI, etc. Did the glass break? Possibly because somebody hit a particularly high note in a song. This looks like it's the figure that dropped Baby Ruby at the church on the same night based on the blurry background and the snowy background. You can't tell who it is still, but bigger speculation online is that it's either Ruby herself, an older Ruby, or maybe the 13th Doctor somehow? Or, you know, could be the Rani. She's pointing at something. What is she pointing at? She didn't point when we saw her in the church on Ruby Road, so is this just after those events, or just before those events, or these events again, but they happen slightly differently? We get the jump scare that we got from the teaser trailer, which is likely from episode 1 with the Boogeyman, and the line, there's no such thing as monsters, just creatures we haven't met yet, which is a pretty standard type of sentiment from the Doctor, but maybe he'll make an exception for this one, uh, because he looks to immediately scream and run away. I said before, I'm not sure I like the Doctor getting this kind of scared. I do still think that, but maybe seeing a bit more of the scene, and that monster is very scary looking, maybe it's justified. Very quick shot of some kind of dust cloud consuming a city, probably London, and people running. I have no idea which story this one might be from. Feels epic though, so probably the finale. And actually given some uh, stuff later on in the trailer, probably is the finale. This looks like a unit facility, possibly an underground bunker. If they have been forced underground by that dust cloud in the last bit, maybe, then that makes sense. The Doctor is accompanied by Kate Stewart, Rose Noble, and Lenny Rush's character. And there's somebody standing behind the Doctor as well, so that could be Rose or it could be Mel. This, to me, looks like the planets and even a bit of the space between the planets are covered in dust. So is this the same dust cloud that was consuming London a second ago? Has it taken them somewhere, possibly? So fast. Something bad obviously happens in the finale that he's in his kind of outfit that we expect him to be in the finale to cause this reaction. Is it the death of somebody, Ruby or Mel perhaps? Or maybe he's looking down on a devastated Earth that he failed to save. We get the clock from the church on Ruby Road again. I'm not sure if this is a reused clip or they're going to return to it. Some kind of metal resonating in water. I've seen people speculate that it looks a bit like a tuning fork, so this is probably from the musical episode. Tireless console exploding in episode one, based on the costumes maybe? Uh, we get devastated London, still in episode 2 costumes, so is this at the end of that leading into the next episode, or is it mid-episode type of thing that they need to fix by the end? It could lead into episode 3 quite nicely if they're in this post-apocalyptic world where they he then goes and steps on a landmine. But maybe the events of the second episode are what cause it. They changed something in the past in the 1960s, and it causes 
this devastation. The whole world could slide into the pit. What is the pit? Could it be something to do with the Satan pit, which had the beast in, in the beast below? Literally slide into hell? Or maybe it could be some kind of name for a black hole or something? Could the earth be lost to another universe? That kind of thing. It's sounding very epic. This is what we're trying to stop. Would be really interesting if this was a season long arc. Um, I'm not sure it is because the devastated London looks very 1960s to 1980s with that bus is a kind of style that wouldn't be in service anymore and we know they go to modern day unit later on so probably not a completely season arc but could be interesting if it is. Obviously being Russell T Davis we're going to get some great character stuff, a companion with a real life and connections to people and it's inevitable that her mum will worry about her a bit. Those flying musical notes from episode 2 here seem to have trapped Ruby, tied her up somehow. We get lots of flashes of Ruby in different places here. Some In this one there's someone blurry in the background. It looks like it could be someone in a hooded cloak so maybe it's the person that left her as a baby we get the next one is uh at some kind of maybe b and b or in an inn at breakfast same breakfast based on the toast this one feels like it's meant to be an older ruby just I, there's something about the glasses and i don't know the way she's holding them white i don't know it just looks feels like it's an older more mature ruby maybe somewhere between her late 20s and early 40s. Do we possibly get a look at uh, her possible future? This looks like it's after the dust storm has ravaged somewhere. And then there's another planet in the sky. Is this where the planets go when they fall into the pit? Possibly. Those things on poles in the backgrounds are giving me a bit of War of the Worlds vibe. This is Mel and the Doctor on a moped. It looks to be the same location from that when the dust cloud consumed a city earlier on in the trailer. So are they maybe riding away from it? There is a man in a suit just behind them in that last shot who is definitely also running. So that would make sense. TARDIS getting scanned here. But the most interesting thing about this is a bit of text that's on the, the screen behind the TARDIS, which according to the screen, it says that triad technology is actually S triad technology. And S triad is an anagram for TARDIS. That's got to mean something. Doctor and Ruby in the first episode costumes here, but in a much cleaner setting than the sets we'd seen them on before. Is this a different station? Is this a different part of the station? And we get the Doctor at the church again. Could be a reuse scene, because then we get the nightclub scene from the church on Ruby Road as well. Here, the Doctor's in his season finale outfit and standing on something with lots of lights, which in a second we'll see again it looks more like a wall that time and it's snowing are we seeing next year's christmas special already or is this just snowing in the finale or is it or is it ash falling doctor on the spaceship from the regency era again he's using his sonic this time which looks a little bit different in coloring and maybe a bit thinner as well uh, he's saluting someone in his regency era so probably jonathan groff's character and i'd say this adds to the rumor that it might be jack because that's kind of like kind of wet he saluted jack a few times in a kind of in that way text says here when you can change time which i think is going to be a big theme of the season from the butterfly effect incident to the devastated london and we've already had mavity beforehand i think there's some kind of thematic thing going on with changing history this season um and that would tie in well with the meddling monk if that rumor turns out to be true I love these two shots because for me this absolutely finally confirms that there's a musical episode. This looks like a full on chorus dance routine. So yeah, musical episode I think is all but confirmed. And we get the TARDIS as a monument. Looks like it's been there a while. There's flowers laid at its foot like a grave. Is this where 14's TARDIS ended up? Or is this something else? Probably links back to the shot of the TARDIS on the cliff we saw earlier in the trailer as well. Uh, and this is what I meant by it being on the wall as well. But actually, looking at this shot, it might have just been a reflection on the floor before. Still, what is this place? It's giving me kind of slightly holodeck vibes. Very strange. Or it could be maybe a concert stage. I don't know. It's a bit odd, this place. Quick shot of Kate at Unit HQ. Another shot of Dr. Amel on the scooter. And then the wink from the end of the last trailer and then the logo 
I love this version of the logo too. Looks good. So that's a lot going on there as we broke it down bit by bit. Let me know your thoughts of what you think is going on. Any of the things I mentioned strike a chord or do you have your own theories about what's going on in those individual clips? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you for more Doctor Who videos soon. If you want to see my trailer reaction video by to the my reaction the first time I watched it, then click on this video here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.